I manage to fix my mass transit to make more profit and not destroy my traffic, I will do a two-hour City Skylines live stream for you lovely folks next week. Can it be done? The goal of this video is to make more money in our city by fixing up our mass transit bus, trains, monorails, trams, everything. If we get this right, we can increase the profit we make on our transportation from the minus 105,000 our budget currently sits at and hopefully have more money to invest in expanding New Zealand. If we get it wrong, we could tank our city's budget, cram the streets with angry citizens in their cars causing horrendous traffic and possibly destroy our city too. So let's take a closer look at the mess that we need to fix and how we're gonna do it. And here we are in the beautiful city of New Zealand, one of my most loved and well-established cities, well over 110,000 inhabitants, and it's growing every day because we're upgrading and changing and fixing, which is the theme of today. Now, as I mentioned, we are losing a lot of money on our transportation. If we go into our budget tab over here and go to our income and expenses and public transportation, at the minute it's at minus seven. 74,000. There we go. And as you can see, it quickly jumps up and down very often. I've seen it as high as minus 120,000. So we really want to try and fix that up. Because in this city here, we have every transportation option known to humankind. Obviously, we have planes down here at our big airports, but all around the main building area uh, by the PG Tips Mountains, trams, trains, you just name it, we've got it. I think the only thing we haven't got is the bendy buses on the wire things, whatever that's called. You know what I mean? But apart from that, we've got everything and additional ones, cargo ferries and all sorts of things. And yeah, it is super, super ram. So we're going to use a couple of tools to help us with fixing this up one of them is the transport tool mod uh, links to all my mods and information below but just search up transport tool on the steam workshop and this is going to give us amazing information about all the different types of transport that we've got going on and help us try and fix some of that up we're also going to be using our auto line color redux so we go into our transport tab over here let's just pick any one of these lines so line number 37 hasn't been named or anything uh, if we jump into here there we go it brings us over to where the start of this line is and down here we've got this other option refresh name and color and if you hover over that it will change the name and color in line with what the redux settings are so let's just jump into our options and here we go the auto line color redux options so we've got a couple of different options under the color strategy i just go for random hue and the name in strategy i want it to take the names from the districts because we're very particular on how we name our districts in our saves let's come out of that so like this district hibiscus tea transfer emerson hills we've got tea related things orlando heights because it's the ore area teasney world you get the idea so here we go line number 40 over here refresh name and color keep your eye on the name and the color boink the colors changed but the name hasn't well i guess we haven't got our districts everywhere but definitely the color changing is going to be helpful because a lot of our things are very similar colors so that is how we're going to use our two tools and then also we want to sort of have some sort of metric that's going to help us uh, see whether we've done a good job so the first metric is going to be our traffic which is really good in new zealand 84 percent 83 percent it sort of fluctuates around there we don't want to dramatically increase our traffic if it changes a lot of it then we know that we've removed too many stops transit options and people are getting in their cars angrily and driving around our city so that is the first metric we're going to keep our eye on and then of course our total profit in our mass transit area our public transportation area can we sort of dramatically decrease the loss that we've got i don't think we're going to make any money but can we decrease the loss and then like i said i'll do a live stream to our city skyline live stream next week if we manage to make some big changes on here that will be great so i'm also going to take a little screenshot of this thing here so we can have a rough idea of the increase or decrease in the residents and the tourists using our different Different modes of transportation and i'm also going to make a note of the lines that we've got so we've got 37 bus lines we don't have any trolley buses that's the word i was thinking of earlier tram lines we have two metro lines we have eight train lines we have eight 
Uh, ferry lines we have seven, air transport lines we have zero, uh, monorail we have two. I don't think we've got any walking tours or sightseeing bus tours, maybe we'll come back to those. So how much are these going to change and how's that going to affect everything else? So, oh my goodness me, so much to dive into. So as we're just having an autosave sip of tea moment, grab a cup of tea and then we'll dive right in. Are you after a strong, sturdy mug for your cups of tea? Or coffee, it works for both if you really have to. Well, how about our new Cool Beans mug, now available on BifferPlaysMerch.com. So the first thing we're going to do is load up our transport tool. Oh, I love this area here. Little TKO, doesn't it just look absolutely beautiful? Love it. So we're going to grab our transport tool. We're going to go to our bus line. And we are going to check out the usage percentage because that, to me, really tells me whether the line is worth having. So, for instance, we have our Elizabeth lines. Let's have a look at these. We've got a clockwise and a counterclockwise line. So that is basically going up and around here and sort of back again in both directions. Um, what is it that we've got here that needs this line? Oh, I see. We've got lots of high density. We've got our university. Mm, but the fact that the usage is so low um here we go so it does sort of fluctuate a little bit yeah so ones like this where we've literally got one bus going backwards and forwards and hardly anybody use it i'm gonna delete it i'm just gonna delete that line we need to sort of think of a figure what figure are we gonna go for if it's anything below 20%, I mean, let's pick this one here, the Fairview line, which is at 19% usage. What would that look like? Some on the high end. So we've got a lot of people actually using it. 64 a week, one tourist, saving 33% of car saves. Mm, I'm wondering whether that's a little bit high. What about if we go for like 15% instead? So something that is literally 15%. Tram quality line so we've got 10 vehicles barely used over half barely used barely used barely used barely used barely used barely used yeah let's just have the rule anything 15 percent usage and below is just going to get deleted because we're going to replace these with other things if it's needed elizabeth line barely any people on the two buses i'm afraid you are out <laughs> Oh my giddy aunt. Number 48, Dock District to the PG Tips. Just barely anybody on all of these buses. Think how much money all of these are costing us to run. This one is gone. In the old grey line, eight buses, but seven people. <laughs> it's just the old grey line is gone. And we've got an MPA to Myrtle, 0% usage. It's gone. It's gone. Orlando Heights, counterclockwise. You're burnt. Charline, counterclockwise. You're gone. Insubordinate and churlish. Oh, and this one is so long. So long. Five vehicles. No wonder nobody's using it. Because as we've expanded the city, we've added trams, trains. Look, we've got a monorail that comes along here as well. So there's so many other options. Aspen Park, clockwise you out so there's so many other options people want to use that that's why bus lines which you know you would have set up early on in the creation of your city soon become defunct and not used as much so i think we're almost there oh, this is the other aspen park line that goes the other way around again super super long lots of people waiting at a couple of stops only two buses where is this let's just have a look oh that is here <laughs> so they're all coming out of here oh okay so that is something we do need to have a look at oh right by alien rock park i didn't realize so we do have a monorail sort of right over there that people can walk to and i reckon if i delete this all these people are going to walk to the monorail. Let's come back in here. Where is the other one? So that one was here. There was another one that had a lot, wasn't there? Number 63. Zoink. Ah, so that's right over at the bus hub. So they're probably all then trying to head over to there. Which, of course, if we just use the commuter destination. Yeah, see, they're all coming all the way along here. Stopping at all these different places. But as we've mentioned, we have other options around here. We have the monorail. So if we could get these easily from the train station from the bus hub. Which is connected to our ferries that run over there, of course. Uh, onto the monorail which there is right outside. I just, I just think they're going to use it. I want to come along here. I want to see everybody that's queuing up for here where they're going to go once we delete this line. So let's get that there. You're gone. Yep, the line is gone. 
Let's follow these people. Where are they going to head next? And they're all heading into the Metro. Oh, okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. Watch out for the lion that's down there as well. Okay, excellent. Well, we've definitely saved some trips uh, there. Saved some, we haven't saved some trips. We've saved some buses and some money, which is the whole uh, point of the exercise. So what I'm doing now, now we're down to the last few numbers. Uh, we get onto our buses here. I'm just keeping an eye on this run of the game at fast speed and just sort of seeing if we get anything that drops below... So we've got the Orlando Heights the other way, which has sort of gone up and down a couple of times and see whether it sort of regularly appears in the list here. And if it doesn't, I will leave it. If it stays for too long like this, one seems to be staying in here for quite a while. Hawky Borky, I'm sorry, I gave you a chance. Let's have a look. Zero out of 30, four out of 30, one out of 30. You're gone. You're gone then I remove them. If they sort of jump in and out of the line, like that other one, Orlando hasn't come back. This is, we'll ignore the problems at the moment. I think we pretty much got everything there. Okay, so let's see how many bus lines we've removed. Overhaul, uh, over, overhaul, over, we've overhauled it, but overall, 25 we've got now. We had 37 before, so 12 <laughs> bus lines we've re removed. I haven't renamed them all just yet, but wow. That is very interesting. Um, so we're definitely going to see a drop in these figures. We'll come back and check that at the end. Not quite sure how much that's going to affect our budget right now. It seems a little bit better, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on that and uh, make some changes as we go along. So the next on the list is our trams. Now, I know we've got a tram line over here that is absolutely not used at all i put this tram line in all the way along the front here more as a visual thing this is where let's just zoom out a little bit yeah this is where we first started building our city this was sort of like the opening square here uh, this was the opening sort of junction we built this along here and i added this tram line because i really wanted to uh yeah, have it there, have it look nice. You know, we built it around the roundabout here. I love, I just love this. I love the way it looks. But yeah, so we have industry all the way up here. Uh, the tram comes up to here and stops. Is there any stops outside here? Yep, and then we've got the loop over there. And there are stops at various points along here. So what I'm thinking of doing for this one is I am thinking, let's jump into our trams, is removing some stops that I think are a little bit unnecessary to try and speed things up along the way. So we're going to have one stop over here, right by the ferry line that they can jump on. We've got one stop over here, which is all... I'm going to move that. I'm going to add that and try and get it a bit closer to over there. But we'll come back to that one. So we've got one stop either way on Green Tea Park. As we come over here to Green Tea Square. So we've got our ferry down here with one stop on that side. I'm going to have a stop on the other side. And then I'm going to remove these ones over here. There we go. That's fine. So they're nice and close. Again, we've got all this like really close to each other. So they're going to go. And these ones here. Can I move them any closer? I can. I can actually put those in there so they're right by the ferry stop yet again we do have a bus that sort of overlaps that so we've got that there and then we've got the turnaround over here so i'm going to take these ones out so the the upshot of this is is it, it's going to go faster um from one end whoop, from one end to the other so we've got save the rock they can get on and off the ferry they can get on and off the uh, ferry thing there one for this area here because it's so super busy oh and that is right by the ferry as well could i maneuver that I can over into there excellent and then over at the industry here and I'm just thinking if they're getting off there they can walk down this road then they can't get into the industry anywhere oh we've got this path here that we've done this nice little bike and walking path so they can actually get through there I'm just thinking I'm gonna grab that there we go thank you very much and extend that a little bit somewhere around here There we go. Excellent. So you can walk back this way and get around there. You can walk that way and get across there. You can walk down here. Whoa, jump again. 
You can't walk down there and get across, which actually might be a slightly quicker way. And this has got pavement on the side of it as well. So we're going to go boink, up to there. Excellent. There we go. So now you've got all the ways to walk across over into the industry way. And I'm hoping that what that's going to do, this one here, hmm, it's 32 waiting. So where are they waiting? Why is that? So that's over here. Let's just close that so we can see. Okay, so that is sort of in the middle. And where are they trying to get to? Yes, they're trying to get over here to the industry. Nobody waiting there. Nobody waiting there. Five waiting there who were trying to get all the way down the other end. Yeah, so that's good. So hopefully with a faster movement, it will work a bit better. And then what I'm also going to do is we're actually going to add... This is the one, isn't it? Get, jip, blah, blah. There we go. We're going to add... This one's like really slow, and it's like one of these old ones as well. We're going to put another one in. So let's pick one. What's got the smallest capacity? 65. But we're going to add two. So they're a little bit more spread out. And hopefully we'll work much better on this line. Oh man, if you love people moving around and mass transit coming and going, the T-Rantula hub is the place to be look at this absolutely fantastic this is one of my most favorite assets to add in the game just because how busy and dynamic it is and it was named the tarantula hub because i thought it would come out of this view it looks a little bit like a tarantula uh, if we go underground view there we go with all the ways that we've got in and out we've utilized every single one all around our city so these two come through these districts this one here heads over where does it end it goes all the way through here and all the way over to this hub here, Glass Hub. I can't remember what the names of these are now. We had these, some of these had proper names, and they, the names have been taken away, which is very weird. Now, this one goes up to Dean Square. Uh, these two over here don't actually seem to have lines on them. These two outside ones, which is odd. No, that one sort of finishes there by the airport and it's never been connected up. This one goes into the middle of nowhere. We haven't built over here yet, have we, this area? So that'll be used for there. We've got one here, this yellow one, which continues all the way through this new area and all the way through to the other side. Primrose Tea Hills, so that's the other side of the mountain. We've got one that goes all the way through the mountain, which I think is... So we've got that one goes to Bentley Park. Where is it? I know there's one that goes across the mountain. This one here. This blue one. That's it. Starts there. Hooks a left. Straight away over the top of the PG Tips Mountains. All the way to the space elevator on the other side. So yeah, that is very good. So anyway, uh, let's have a look at our Metro. I've lost it over here. And just see how they are doing. And I'm wondering whether... Uh, train, Metro, this one here... Yeah, see, we have some, oh man, that are very low use. So this is the orange one. So t Vangela to Dean Square. I mean, we've got two trains. There's like hardly anybody waiting. I'm just wondering whether the solution here, because this is going to a train metro hub. So we're going to have a, a passenger train line, I would imagine, through here. We do not have a passenger train line through here. I'm wondering whether that is... The issue does this do intercity trains it doesn't i'm gonna allow intercity trains there where does this line go so it connects up to here hard to see because of all the stuff on the line then it goes around this way so if we're gonna have and then it goes outside that direction okay can you go a different direction on there we can all right i'm gonna have a look at my train lines but i'm thinking for now oh, boink, we'll leave that one because that is the only way to get from over here all the way into the tarantula hub so we'll we'll leave that one got number one line and uh, where does that go so that goes from our glass hub thing over here we do actually have some people utilizing this one but we've got massive trains on there i'm just wondering whether i want to just find out the numbers on all of these um just so i can maybe select some cheaper perhaps cheaper i don't know are they cheaper if they're smaller or are these the same price Mm, that's a very interesting question. Yeah, so I think unless you're using any mods, the only things you're paying for is the upkeep of the stations, the lines, and all that sort of thing. Um, there is some interesting information on the wiki talking about Metro train models. We'll put that on the screen. So the base game Metro 150 capacity. Airports expansion added the Airport Express Metro with 180 uh, it's faster than the base game metro so i don't think we should ever use the base game metro airport express metro should be our minimum 
But then we've got these extra four trains as well from the Vehicles of the World pack. S-Barn, 200 high speed and fast acceleration. Underground, 300 average speed and fast acceleration. Subway, 400 high speed and slow acceleration. High capacity of 500. No, no information about the speed. So I'm assuming slow acceleration. So slow to get to the top speed. Once it's at top speed, it's quicker. So I'm thinking for ones like this line here, where we're not utilizing, uh, let's just, can we get over here where we can actually see the thing? There we go. So we're not utilizing all the spaces, but it would be good to have high speed and fast acceleration. So I would say at least the S-Bahn train instead of the bog standard Metro um, would be good. So we're gonna pop that on there there we go excellent it's actually got 204 instead of 200 and i'm gonna drop that down by half and we're gonna see how that one goes on line one excellent thank you very much these things you have to leave running for a while because they're gonna take a while t to dean square so again that's going to be going from tarantula is it so that's this orange one here where does that go? Yeah, Tarantula. There we go. Tarantula to Dean Square. So not very far. And again, that sort of hooking in. Oh, that is exactly the same place, isn't it? <laughs> so, what were we looking at before? It was number one. Number one line. Of course we were. Yes, we got slightly confused there. So that one comes over here to the stadium. And that goes all the way around to the industry, past our big stadium. And, and actually stops here at Crest Heights. So I'm just wondering whether I could just extend that. Let's have a look. Where does this line go? So we could have... I'm just trying to see if we could hook up to Dean Square here. With the metro in the other one. I don't think we can easily do that. We've got two metro... No, okay. Well, we'll leave it where it is. Let's have a look at this T to Dean Square again. To Dean Square. So usage is like nothing. So, yeah. You're deleted. Thank you very much. You're gone. Do you know what these... S-Barn, whatever they're called ones, are doing so well on here. I'm actually going to drop it down to two, I think. The lowest point where we can get two. There we go, just about there. Excellent. I should have paused the game while I did that, but never mind. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. And then the rest of the usage uh, on these, yeah, on the right one, is okay. <laughs> I was going to say, and it's proved me a liar by already dropping these down. T to Bentley. So that goes over. Oh, I know why that one's not doing any good. Because that is literally going from Tarantula to Bentley. And there's nothing there. We've built nothing around this one. So we're wasting money with T to Bentley. So that one is going to go... I mean, if there's some people there, I don't know what they're doing. They don't need to go there. That line can come back uh, in the future when we actually need that line. I think I'm going to leave the other ones. They're okay. They're super good. Uh, waiting. T to Maple. We got a lot of people waiting um, somewhere. Let's find out where they were waiting. They're basically just waiting everywhere. We have got a train with a capacity of 750, which is this ride one. I just think we want the fastest one again, which I'm going to say is the S-Bahn train and just go with that one. And then maybe then we'll be able to drop this down and it'll be able to pick these up a lot quicker. So I'm immediately going to go down for 10. And I'm just going to keep an eye on this and see how quickly it gets through and picks them all up. Right, it took a few minutes and I increased the metros up to 14 on the T to Maple line. But we've managed to get the 1,000 odd waiting down to... That just jumped then, didn't it? Oh, there we go. Down to 185. So that's not too bad. We'll keep that one moving along like it is. But I think that's possibly all we need to change. The rest of these are okay. I'm not going to, like I said, worry about the, the problems. We'll just let those go through. I know I've got some funiculars, which I've got nobody on it. Um, but, and we've got like one line just for the sake of running it. I don't think, to be honest, that's costing us much money. If anybody knows, uh, honestly, whether more or less metros or trains on the line cost us money, uh, let me know because... I really have no clue um, about that. So let's have a look at this. External external to Glass Hub. Where the heck does that one go? So we've got two trains stuck right next to each other. What is going on there? They're just all looking at each other for no reason at all. Um, what's going on here? This <laughs> What is going on? We've got these teeny tiny trains. We've got this one here. 
and there's nothing to stop which way are they going that's probably something worth finding out okay they will go in this direction so let's stop looking the other way remove all these trees off the line yeah that'll do <laughs> let's just delete this one because i think you're just blocking everybody i delete you are you gonna go through or is there some issue it was just that train well that was very strange and now everybody else can move along and keep going hmm very odd very odd but everything now seems to be uh, going okay excellent and also the other thing of course when you're looking through your train lines and this is something i always sort of say to do in an audit uh, metro train lines is to check how many passengers you've got while well, we're going to ignore those two and then how many trains you've got and how long it's taken for them to go through and all the rest of it so that's why this tool if we come out of this view thank you very much it's so good because yeah you'll get like these here saying look there's loads of people bored at these stops here so that gives us all the bored ones or we could just do it like line at a time we'll go into here it was this one here i was looking at and then you can probably see where it is like there's 500 and something there which you know considering all the trains have just been blocked up so if that's a 400 that's a subway high speed but slow acceleration oh my wally uh, let me just get the information on the trains so the basic trains 240 airport express train which we just saw uh 240 higher speeds uh, bullet train capacity of 200 and faster high speed 300 commuter train 400 but slower so i think maybe the bullet train that's got 200 and we know we're not hitting 200 <laughs> it's 400 on there i'm gonna try the bullet train so this one here and it just seems they're like very close together stops so that's like the only problem i don't know they're a reasonable distance apart and the fact that there's 200 on each and i'm going to up that to seven add another couple and i'll see how that goes okay sparty to primrose i've gone for the 300 um high speed train the bullet train seemed a bit overkill i'll be honest it, the, the stops are too close together for it to get to the top speed and you can see the more it goes around let's just speed the game up a touch the emptier these are and these are going down so we haven't got like a thousand odd waiting which is really good so yeah pleased about that i think we'll still show us some being bored on here no we're not okay so i think we're probably on the limit yeah there we go look so it's not there then it's there but that's fine that's going down so this is going well um this external to glass hub have they got stuck again or is it just really slow i just think it's the fact that we're using a very slow metro maybe 240 which is the high speed one isn't it from the airport uh higher speeds i think the airport express train is one that we should perhaps always go or the bullet train just as i said seems overkill and let's just go for the airport express train similar size and then we'll just sort of let that one carry on and hopefully it's okay at some point it's not gonna be this episode but there will be huge swathes that we can upgrade of our train network to the faster uh, high-speed rail viaduct so 220 kilometers an hour as opposed to who knows whatever that is uh, that we would normally use because as we sort of look around um, when we sort of get outside and we get to the larger sections like this we could probably change some of that so yeah we shall see anyway we shall see i'm gonna let things run and then we'll come back and check the next one on our list so looking at our ferry lines probably not much we can do here i don't want to remove this ferry line because that is taking them from here around to the next section and it just sort of completes our ferry network uh, going around here so we're going to leave that one there always is some people waiting um but the rest of our ferry is very well utilized this one is utilized 100 percent uh, which is just fantastic if you have a look at that everyone's filled nobody's waiting too long all the ferries are filled that is, that is pretty darn good isn't it so i think we're just going to leave all of that uh, as it is and then we don't have oh we do have monorail of course we do let's just take a quick look at our monorail then so well there's a lot going on there now again i would think a smaller amount of these and we'd easily be able to keep on top of what we've got so i'm going to go for four on the teasney world shuttle and then it to npa let's have a look at that one and we do only have oh, we've got this monorail as well i mean a couple of these are quite empty i'm going to just drop that down to four and then cable cars oh we do have some cable cars as well and some with literally zero usage so this is 
got trash problems and it's up in the middle of nowhere okay oh i see right okay of course cable car we don't set up routes do we we just have these ones plopped in the middle of nowhere and is that just not even hooked up i just cannot even see the lines hooked up to there Yes, yeah, something's happened, isn't it, to our cable car lines? Well, no wonder it's not working properly. Um, let us get that in. I mean, these are going to be... Whoa, all the way over here. Very little use. I mean, that one goes across the river. I don't know. I'd be interested to see how much our cable cars actually cost us in the long run. Um, that is this one here. Oh man, minus 3,000. Look at our profit. <laughs> minus 136,000. Well, we need to let the game run a bit to think about uh, what we're doing with all of this stuff. And the last thing that I'm probably going to do off camera, and then I'll tell you how it all goes, is go through all of my routes and just adjust the amount of vehicles that we've got to make sure that the lines that we do have have not too many vehicles so we've got rid of the lines that we don't need now it's how many buses and how many trains and how many metros on a line so yeah i'm gonna we'll jump again i'm gonna go and do that i'll be back with you and then maybe we will look at our final traffic figures and see whether all of this has actually been worth it okay so the city's growing again we are making a profit and i want to check the traffic as always we have no despawning on that's just how i run the game new zealand considering how busy it is always seems to have good traffic now we sort of tweaked that to a point where yeah look at that 84 85 percent and that is interesting because if we look at the amount of people using our transportation compared to last time our residence use was 4727 so that's definitely dropped down our tourist was 5587 so that has also dropped down uh, which is really interesting and the amount of lines and all that sort of thing that we had we had like 37 bus lines down to 25 so we we have decreased all of that but it hasn't increased the traffic which is good but something i would like to try so what i'm actually going to do again is i'm going to take another screenshot of this here okay so we've got a second screenshot there 4300 and why did i do that well because i want to try this policy down here to really try and make some money and again see how it makes a difference for everything else so raise public transport ticket prices by 25 percent to get more profit this may result in less passengers so if it does will that increase our traffic will it mean we're making money and all the rest of it so i'm going to tick that one and see how that goes because of course the alternative one we normally go for is free public transport um, but we're not doing that one because we want to try and make some extra money so i'm going to run that for sort of 5 10 15 minutes see how it goes and then i shall report back so one of the things that i am going to change uh pretty much all of our bus lines have the basic bus model which if we have a look at the information from the wiki is holding 30 um, but we can increase that and i think as long as we don't use the double decker bus because that cannot reach highway speeds we've got like the bendy bus the super bendy bus to look at airport articulated bus oh airport double decker bus 60 passengers doesn't mention that it can't reach highway speed so that to me looks pretty good and it isn't like a huge then massive big bus so i think we're going to go for those and maybe drop the numbers that we've got on our lines and yeah maybe that will help i'm still not convinced that having more lines and more buses is actually going to save us money so yeah overall it is oh look we're going up down whichever way around we're making more money is on here if we drop this down oh increased budget but more like to select an intercity bus to travel outside of the city so that would be nine thousand and then if we just speed this up yeah so we can shave a couple of thousand uh simoleons off of our use but then of course the amount of buses let's just shut that one down there the amount of buses that are then on each line is drastically reduced i mean that is like been, i think that was 18 before wasn't it it's dropped in half which then i suppose if we change these out for the airport double decker they'll then be 60 and i don't think the type of buses that you have really make much of a difference as long as we're picking up all the people so that might be another good way actually is to switch all of these out now for those and uh, we'll see how that goes well okay as you can see from the before and after uh, we are saving a lot of money this this is fluctuation again it's been down as low as minus 20 25 and then you saw it got to minus 75 that's like the largest it's been but it's we're, we're getting closer 
and closer and we're actually yeah got income in here again so I don't know whether I recorded the bit where suddenly I had no income at all, which was very, very weird. But no, that's working fine. High ticket prices is on. Uh, the amount of people using things has dropped a lot because I think with the vehicle unbuncher mod, there seems to be a very weird sort of thing where... This is the one I want, Metro. So you'll have like, no, there's no Metro on here at all. So there's no passengers. So there's a load of people waiting to get on there. But of course, Metro doesn't come from a particular depot. So what I think it's doing is going through the lines, adding on. So that one's only got one on there. Let's have a look. Oh, that is sticking at one. Okay. So I'm hoping this one is going to go up from zero. That would be good. Yeah, see, that one should be having nine. That would have had 18 before. But I have gone through and started adjusting. So all the buses are now those double-decker buses we spoke about. Uh, the trams are fine. Uh, the metro i've changed all the ones to the s barn which we i think is the sort of the best one that we've got and these have all been changed to the airport express train uh, apart from these couple of high speed ones so i think overall we're going to be okay i'm just waiting for this one to pick up and start working as it should let's just follow this line make sure there's no blockages on here anywhere ah oh, and that's the problem this line is broken even though there's no reason for it to be broken. So that comes all the way along here. So where are we? Just so we can see by no problem at all. Okay, so if I grab, if I grab that, grab that, can I move that? And that comes all the way into here. Just to make sure that I'm not destroying the wrong one, I'm going to turn all of those off and do that one on. And I'll just fix that one up. I think possibly that is the longest line we've got. Um, it goes all the way down here, all the way to the airport. And there we go, complete line. That color will probably change if I unpause the game. Yeah, it went a slightly darker green. Uh, let's just see what it's popped on there. Line 15. So we've got the name saved. Tea to Maple. And that has got the standard Metro. Uh, we had the high capacity Metro, I believe, on there. And that's going to... 22 stops. It's only put five on there. And there's a load of people waiting now. So that's going to take a while to go down. So once again... I'm going to put seven. Once again, I'm going to let my game run. And then we're going to come back and look at the final figures and see whether all this tinkering around has made a big difference to our city, whether we've saved money and whether I'll be live streaming next week. That is the answer that everybody wants to know. Be right back. I've been deleting, tweaking, fiddling, adding, removing oh, all sorts of things. All the different transit lines, stops, vehicle sizes. You've seen it. We have almost done it all. Let's check the main thing that we don't want to mess up. And of course, that is our traffic. Uh, let's come out of that view there. See what our traffic is. As always, we don't have despawning on. Never have that one mentioned that before, possibly. 86%. I think that is near enough. So let's compare some other facts and figures and see whether we've improved things. Let's check our money. Minus 36. It was literally minus 25. Then I pressed record and it went up a tiny bit. It was minus 95 before. So we are now losing a lot less money than we were, which is absolutely brilliant. So let's compare how many people is using our transportation network now uh, than they were before let's take a look so i'll open this up and we'll put some figures on the screen from before so residence was 4727 ish now it's 3092 so a difference of about 1,700 odd. Taurus was 5,500, now 2,700. So a little bit of a change there. And I've got to be honest, what I think has made the biggest difference is going into our budget, dropping all of these down, but then going into our lines and changing these for bigger vehicles. Um, because I don't think there's a charge per vehicle and per size of vehicle. I think the cost is the same. So you don't want too many and have loads of traffic. 
Um, and you don't want the small ones that take too long to get anywhere. But as long as you're covering your needs, you're okay. We do have like a few issues, but to be honest, there's like not many, and these like get resolved very quickly and disappear. So I'm not going through those. And yeah, I think that is pretty good. And generally, the most we'll lose is about fifty-five thousand. The least we'll lose is about twenty-five, twenty thousand. So I would say we have fulfilled our criteria of making more money or losing less money it's the same thing isn't it it's the same thing not causing traffic and overhauling our mass transit system any other tips you've got let me know in the description below be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and i will see you all very soon for the next one i'm going to finish with a nice shot of this because i love it so much so yes there will be a live stream next week so subscribe so you don't miss it take care have a great day Bye-bye.